And then you came to the U.S.? Yeah, I came to the U.S. in 2013. Okay. So with all of this very deep understanding of really critical human rights issues and ethics issues, mm -hmm. what do you think is the ability of artists, whether it's musicians or poets or visual artists or architects, to influence the ethics of their time and of future generations? You know, um, Nina Simone said something about an artist reflecting the time. Mm -hmm. And it's one thing that I've, I've learned to come across is that ever since I moved to the United States, I've never been more black in my life. You know? Wow. Which is very, um, the concept of blackness, I've been in Africa, not getting the American space, it's very mm -hmm. different. From what do you mean by life. black when you say, when you say that? No, I've never been called black in my life. In okay. Nigeria, nobody calls me black. You know, and that whole term, the color black itself, kind of takes away from my identity when you ask me, because I'm a Yoruba man from Nigeria, mm -hmm. with my ethnicity. But when you just call me black, you kind of just take away all my, all my um, background, everything that I am. That makes like your identity. My person, yeah, you label it, you call it black. You know, so at first I had to grapple with that, you know, when I first moved, when people say, oh, you're black. You know, first I'm like, um, yeah, actually, I'm black, but then I'm not black. You know, I'm more mm -hmm. of that. You know, I want to. Mm -hmm. You know, you're under this, always trying to tell, okay, I'm Nigerian and Nigeria from West mm -hmm. Africa, and then you're always trying to explain yourself, and mm -hmm. explain who you are, and you're a Balan, and this is what we do. And, you know, after a while, I started noticing a few things about, you know, racial profiling and what it actually meant to walk in this game, living in the United States, and I discovered that, wow, it's, it's totally different. And it was just around the time of the, the, the trial, Trevor Martin. So I worked out on TV, and I was watching, you know, I worked some women get acquitted. And everybody in my house, everybody in my house, I leave people say, wow, this is crazy, you know, this they injustice. They put all the case, yeah. So it was pretty much an awareness, like a rude awakening to the fact that, okay, you're black and you live in America, this is what you have to do. And then I went to Target one day and I got, you know, I got those where I was stopped and I was searched and they told me to, when I check my receipt and check everything, if I bought, if I actually bought what I bought, you know, which never happened in my life. And I was like, wow. And I told one of my friends, like, oh, you're welcome to America because you kind of fit the description of somebody who shoplift. And then I was like, okay, if I don't get a chance to explain myself, what other way can I explain myself? I could use art. Uh -huh. That's how a lot of the art side did art about Trayvon Martin. I did Black Lives Matter. I also did Bring Back Our Girls. I also did something about Jordan Davis. Anytime there was a chance to actually speak something about, you know. So you did issue. paintings? You yeah, did I did paintings. Charcoal works mm -hmm. and paintings and drawings mm -hmm. and also body art. Okay, so you really are an artist of your time. Yeah, you can say that. Because this is really straight out of the news. Black Lives Matter, Trayvon yeah, Martin, yeah, all the yeah, rest. Yeah. Okay.